Stephen Joyce, good morning to you. Take a look behind me. This is their project right here. The students at Annie Wright School in Tacoma. They just built this tiny home, a home that's going to provide a place to live for someone or a few people in Nicholsville, South Lake Union. Here's the primary bed space. There's room for a mattress and, of course, the frame lifts up to reveal additional storage space. Now, one of the students, Nelson Adhow, gave us a look at the completed house. Nelson and a class of ninth graders at Annie Wright Schools worked on this for the last six months. It evolved from a sketch on architecture paper to a completed home. They even visited Nicholsville, Georgetown to hear what would make it great. But for the students and their teacher, it's been a rewarding experience. Right now, I can see the difference that this will make in the future in the lives of actual people. My hope is that it can contribute to making somebody's life just a bit better for as long as it possibly can before it's retired. It's amazing. I mean, I think that one of the one of the things I really want to accomplish as an educator is to teach kids to unleash human potential um, for kids to change the world. And this is an opportunity um, to do that in very concrete terms, to take design and make an impact in our community. It was only a few weeks ago when Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin identified tiny homes as one possibility to help solve the homeless crisis in Seattle. Now this group of students helping to do their part. But right now, let's come back out live. This is actually temporarily in Soto. It's going to be here for a few weeks before it's then moved to its eventual home, which is likely going to be in the Nicholsville South Lake Union. Reporting live, I'm Alex Rosier. We'll send it back to you.